Hey, I'm Cameron, a new arrival here at Kunsan Air Base, and I want to know what the dirtiest, most labor-intensive jobs are here at the Wolfpack. I'm going to get with units from across the wing, have them give me a little insight into their day-to-day, -day, and try my hand at some of their work. This is Kunsan Down and Dirty. I'm here right now with Captain Martinez, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the Ace Security Forces mission. So, take it away, sir. So, I am Captain Martinez. I am the Director of Operations here at the Ace Security Forces Squadron at Kunsan Air Base. The best way to describe the mission for the Ace Security Forces is, first of all, we uh, maintain the law and order of the installation, which includes all of the personnel located in there and making sure that all the uh, personnel are secure. In addition to that, we do the air base defense aspect of the Security Forces mission, which is required of us to maintain all the security of all resources and assets that we have. Another important aspect of our mission is maintaining and uh, training with the combat arms section and also uh, employing our military working dog capabilities that we have on the installation here. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to get some face time with both of those units there. Tell me what would be different about y'all's mission here versus maybe a base state type. So the biggest difference here being at Kuntan Air Base is the fact that we have the host nation piece that we consider and in addition to that the armistice piece as well uh, that you normally wouldn't see at a normal stateside base. So that is a big, uh, essentially a big aspect of what we do there and it really contributes to that air base defense aspect of our mission. Absolutely and I've heard it a lot here you got to be ready to fight tonight right? Absolutely and the defenders here every single night do that and every single day as well when they come up and post they are ready to fight tonight. Always ready. I'm excited to get more in depth. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you. First up was to head to the range and pay a visit to Combat Arms. What's up, everybody? I'm here at the firing range with Airman Gordon, and he's going to teach us about Combat Arms. Primary duties as a Combat Arms instructor is to make sure everyone is qualified with the M4 uh, carbine, which is our primary duty weapon, as well as the M18 modular handgun pistol. Awesome. Do you think we can maybe check out some of these guns? Absolutely. Let's do it. Airman Sheely, they just fired off a bunch of rounds to see how they did. Hey, this is pretty good for a practice round. Um, for qualification, if we want to get expert, we're going to get 41 on paper, we're going to get 25 in this chest circle, and then six in the head. But for practice, we did great. Nice. All right, so now that we shot, probably got to clean the guns, right? Hey, let's go do it. All right. So when we break down our weapon system, we're going to go through some operator maintenance also while we clean. And then after you get CLC in there, you can take the red rag and then just wipe it down. And then once we have everything clean, we're going to make sure that there's nothing broken, missing, worn, everything is lightly lubricated, there's spring tension where there needs to be, and then we can piece it all back together. Now that I know what it takes to stay ready to fight tonight, I headed back to SFS headquarters where a flight was preparing to start their shift. All right, I'm here at Security Forces right now with two of our Wolfpack defenders. Walk us through the layout you got on right now. Um, so what we have here is the M4A1 um, along with the M18 pistol. I um, also have a radio and baton and everything else that's essential for us to do our job. Yeah, okay. fully kitted out. All right. And the next step is guard mount, right? So walk us through what that is. So guard mount happens before every shift. The flight chief will usually come out to address the flight, check off names, and give us information about the upcoming shift. So after guard mount, we'll be doing safety briefings and post briefs too. Awesome. Let's roll out. I'm in a squad car right now with Sergeant Magillon and Sergeant Brinson doing a ride along. So we're on a patrol right now. Kind of tell us what we're looking for. So as a patrol here on Kunsan Air Base, we're pretty much just looking for anything suspicious. Um, you know, we conduct building checks. We conduct random anti-terrorism measures. Okay, and so why is that important to do this every day? So the reason why we need to do the patrols every day is so we can provide immediate response to any incident on base and for everyone to feel safe on base. By us being out and about, we're able to give people the feeling of feeling secure and also to let people know that we're here. We're here to take care of business. So what happens when they do see something? Well, I made my way to the training section to find out some intervention methods. We're outside the training room right now and I'm joined by Sergeant Crosby. Walk us through what's going on in there. What situation are you guys training for? So Kunsan, as we know, is a very dynamic environment. We're dealing with a lot here, especially from our enemies and local. So the whole point of the training section is to prepare our defenders, get them better trained for different scenarios they're going to come across while being at Kunsan and down the rest of their career. So a portion you're seeing is use of force, but we train on way more than that, just getting our troops ready to be mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally fit. All right, well, I think that's all we wanted to know. Thank you so much for the time today. Appreciate you. Hey, thank you. you for your time. Yeah. Another way to stop a bad guy? Dogs. But not the cute and cuddly kind. 
Okay, he's definitely cute, but he's not here to cuddle. We're here at the obedience yard right now with Sergeant James mm -hmm. and her military working dog, Quinto. And uh, walk us through what would be a situation where you would use a military working dog. Um, so a situation that we would use our military working dog is if we get a call to a domestic situation and we have to defuse the altercation. And if that individual that did the assault isn't complying, we can use our dog to get them to comply. Is there any way we can kind of see this in action? Yeah, we can. It took a minute to put on the bite suit. Not my best look, but without it, I'd have much bigger problems than being a little unfashionable. All right, sir, I need you to come here. You're all going to come here, you're going to get bit. Get him. Nice job, buddy. Good boy. Hold up, bad guy. Good boy. I'm very glad I had a thick layer between Quinto's teeth and my arm. Being on the receiving end, I can tell you, you do not want to mess with our wolf pack defenders. They're well trained, always standing watch, and absolutely ready to fight tonight. Next up, Wraith Nation. Let's see what the 8th LRS has in store.